welcome back to my channel. It's the Spiritual Enchantress here. Today I'm going to take you through a vinyasa flow routine that's about an hour long for your third eye chakra. If you haven't already, please check out the other chakra vinyasa flows. I'll link them down below. Suggested taking from the first chakra, the root chakra, and working your way up to the third eye chakra. The third chakra, also known as Andhra chakra, is associated with your intuition, psychic abilities, your ability to um, perceive things. Um, there's like a ethereal realm and your connection to that and your connection to your own mind, your own body, and your connection to the divine. Um, as it is located in the forehead area, uh, there's not really any specific exercises involved in yoga that could directly target the middle of your forehead. So I have put this routine together. Uh, really, it's a holistic routine that focuses on everywhere from the ground up, um, which starts with the feet and kind of moves up and works through all angles of the body um, to really help get the energy flowing up from your root and up to the third eye chakra. If that's of interest to you, let's get started with a short two minute meditation to ground ourselves into our bodies and focus on our third eye. So if you'd like, you can just touch uh, the center of your forehead um, just to kind of get um, some sensation in the area that we're gonna focus on. Find a comfortable cross-leg position or a comfortable position where your knees are below your hips and your back is not rounded. Close your eyes. Draw the breath in through your nose, fill up your lungs, and slowly exhale out the mouth. Feeling your stomach contract in as the oxygen leaves your body. Deep breath in, feel all of the oxygen filling up the spaces in your body. Exhale out the nose this time. Breathe at your own pace. Imagine as you're breathing in that the air you're breathing is a purplish hue. And as it fills up the empty spaces in your body, it's leaving a trace of magic behind. And as you exhale all of the negative black energy, all the stickiness in your body is leaving, it's transmuting and being burnt away. And every new breath in, imagine it filling the spaces of your body that you feel pain or discomfort. That crystalline violet light, little specks of stardust in it. Breathing into those spaces. And as you exhale out the nose, body contracts, your diaphragm lifts, your rib cage comes closer to the midline, and that icky tar, black energy is leaving your body. Just to be replaced by that magical purple fairy dust-like air. Envision from the bottom of your pelvic bowl, straight up your spine, start to light up, moving upwards towards your navel, upwards towards your rib cage, lighting as it goes up towards your spine, the base of your neck up the back of your neck into your cranium 
and in between your eyes in the center of your skull. A beautiful purple light. Imagine it shining out a couple foot radius around you. You are open, you are connected to your own body, to your own mind. Gently tilt your head forward, bringing your chin towards your chest. Take the palms of your hands and gently rub your legs. Come back into your body, back into the room around you, opening your eyes with the light from your root chakra up to your third eye chakra still glowing. We are going to practice together. So I'd like you to come to the top of your mat. Take your time to get there. No rush. If you want to pause the video to quickly grab some blocks or props, you are welcome to. Of course, I'll always give you the modifications if you do not have blocks on hand or do not wish to use them. Again, coming to the top of our mat, we're gonna start in mountain pose. So I'd like you to take your feet hip width distance apart. And really envision all four corners of your feet really rooting into the, the mat, rooting into the earth below us. And that's going to give us our strength and our foundation for our practice today. Engage your legs all the way up. Bring your belly in and your hips slightly forward to uh, get that neutral alignment in the hips. Engage the abdominals. Really imagine them coming in towards your rib cage. Activate the fingers, spread them wide, and we're going to breathe in and do three sun salutes here. So we're gonna breathe in as we bring our arms up overhead. Palms to touch, look up. And we're gonna exhale as we fold at the hips and lean forward, keeping our abs engaged keeping our back straight and fold over here. You can put a bend in the knees if it feels good for you. Take a couple of sways here, bend and alternating legs. Breathe in and out of the nose. And if at any time this gets too much for you and you start to get dizzy, just don't go quite as far. You can always use your blocks to help prop you up. And again, breathe in, activate through the legs, pull your hips forward, straighten your spine, and bring your hands to touch above your head. And exhale, fold at the hips, elongate the head in front of you and bend at the knees slightly. Deactivate the upper body. Inhale, come all the way up, tuck your hips forward and reach your arms high above your head. Nice long line of energy connecting to the universe above us. And exhale, fold forward, come all the way down, forward fold. Get it, grab the backs of the elbows and do a nice little sway here. Find movement in this position to get that energy flowing through the backs of your legs up into your spine. Nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. Find stillness. Take your palms of your hands to your shin and slide them up as you come to a half fold here. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, come up all the way. Hands come up overhead. 
We're gonna clasp the left, left wrist with the right hand and we're gonna bend over to the right so our left rib cage is gonna splay open to the left wall beside us. Try and go over without leaning forward or backwards. Staying in that straight line of energy up and down as if you're squished between two walls. We don't want the hip to pop out to the side. Try and have this bend in the rib cage and not in the legs. Mm, nice opening in our airway here. Arms should be engaged, but shoulders should be down away from the ears. Come back to center. Drop the arms down, exhale. Inhale all the way up. And this time take the right wrist with the left arm and lean to the left, opening up our right rib cage. Being mindful to keep the abdominals and the pelvic floor engaged and imagining our chest pressed between two straight walls. This stretches in the rib cage and not in our bottom hips. Arms engaged, but shoulders down away from the ears. Strength and ease at the same time. Come up to center, look up. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. We're gonna place our hands on either side of our feet. Spread the fingers nice and wide and then step or jump back into plank position. First plank of the day. You can always take a plank on your knees as a modification if um, you need to build your core strength here. If you are doing this position with your butt up in the air or your hips down low and you cannot find that um, neutral position, then I would really recommend just working on this from your knees and you'll find um, it'll be a lot more effective for your abdominals in this position. We're going to slowly lower all the way down to the mat, tucking your elbows in close to the body as you bring our chest and our legs to the floor and with your hands spread wide beneath your shoulders press up as you breathe in and open your heart to the wall in front of you pressing your hips into the mat legs engaged exhale down tuck the toes under press into the hands coming onto the knees and then Coming up to down dog. <sighs> Feet should be hip width distance apart. Hips, um, tailbone towards the sky. Hands spread nice and wide with our fingers um, grazing the edge of our mat. Point your fingers towards the front of the room and you can have a slight bend in the knees here so that you can get that nice line of energy out the top of the tailbone, out the top of your head. Cuddle out the legs in our first down dog of the day. Just play around with the positioning of your legs. You can move them further away or closer towards your chest, depending on what feels good for you. The goal isn't to touch your heels to the mat. It's really about that nice long line of energy from the top of your head to your tailbone. So if that means bending your knees, you might find that it feels really nice in your spine here. We're gonna look to the top of our mat, step or lightly jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward at the hips, bringing your hands towards your feet. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, come to a flat back. Exhale, place your hands down on the mat and step or lightly jump back into a plank position. Lower down nice and slow as you exhale all the way to the mat or to chaturanga, your choice. 
Inhale, lift the chest up with your hands beneath your shoulders, pressing your hips into the mat, baby cobra, or upward dog if it's in your practice. Exhale, tuck the toes under, meet and down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Ensure that your hands are still uh, spread wide and that your shoulders are squared off without one shoulder dipping towards the mat more than the other. And we're gonna exhale, bend the right knee and sweep the right foot towards the front of the mat, placing it between the two hands. If you have to do a little hop, hop with your feet, that is perfect. With your right knee at a 90 degree angle, and your back legs straight out behind you. Bring strength into the legs and come up into high lunge. In high lunge, you wanna think about pressing out your back um, heel, pressing firmly into the front foot and scissoring uh, your legs towards one another and then bending into that knee. We want our spine nice and long. You can micro bend the back knee if that helps. Now that we have this position, make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Fingers spread nice and wide. We're gonna straighten that front leg, come up. And exhale, bend into that front leg. We're gonna do 10 of these. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend. I'd like you to do this at your own pace, please. With your breath. When you come down from your 10, we're going to stretch our arms up nice and long. Reach out in front of us. Take the hands to prayer and twist to the right. The left elbow should be on the in or outside of the right knee. And if this twist is just a little too much for you, you can do easy twists and take your left hand onto the ground and reach up making sure you're scissoring the legs towards one another and pushing the feet away. Nice energy in the arms. Shoulder blades should come towards one another on your back. Slowly come out of the twist and Push into your back leg and come to the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Inhale as you roll all the way up. Hands extended above your head, look up. Exhale, fold forward. And we're going to take chairs, so you can either take your feet together or place a block between your thighs, if you'd like your feet hip width distance apart, bend at the knees, straighten back, and bring your hands to prayer at your chest here. Really squeeze your thighs together. Focus at bringing your tailbone towards your knees. Really activating the abs here, bringing your shoulders down and back. Making sure the weight is in the heels of your feet and not into the front of your toes. You can lift your toes up if it helps. So you're not clasping on with your toes for dear life. Exhale, strain. You can remove the block if you chose to use it. We're going to fold forward, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. 
exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step or light to jump to plank. Exhale, down dog. Sorry. Lower down, chaturanga or to the mat. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Remember to check the alignment of your shoulders here. You don't want one shoulder to dip more than the other. Inhale. And exhale, bend the left knee and sweep your left foot forward between your hands. Come up into high lunge. You can check the positioning. Your feet should be hip width distance apart. Your front knee should have a nice bend in it. Your back heel should be pushing away from you and scissoring your legs up towards each other. So you're not dumping into your joints. Hands go up, but shoulders down away from the ears here. And once you have that position nice and steady, you can straighten the front leg as we inhale and bend into that leg as we exhale. Again, 10 of these at your own pace. Once you've completed your 10, please lengthen your fingers up towards the sky. Reach forward to the wall in front of you and either take easy twists with your right hand on the inside of your front right left leg, left hand reaches up, or bring in your hands to prayer, twist to the left. Whichever feels nice in your body. Remember, energetically, your legs should scissor towards one another as your feet push away from one another. Strong arms, strong stomach, her abs are engaged here. Release your hands back to center. Step the left foot back into plank. Slowly lower down all the way to the mat or to Chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. And exhale, meek and downward facing dog. A few breaths here. Look to the top of the mat, step or lightly jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, bend at the knees, come into chair. Really squeeze your thighs together. Lift the toes up, bring the weight into the heels of the feet. Lengthen your spine, bring your shoulder blades towards one another. And then when your pelvic floor and abs are engaged, you can sink a little lower. Raise your hands up towards the sky and either take easy twists to the, bringing your right hand behind you like this, or taking your hands at prayer, bringing that left elbow to the outside of the right knee and really pressing into the hands. Either one is valid. 
Do what feels good in your body today. Ensuring that the weight is in your heels. We're looking over that top elbow and work or towards the back, right corner of the room. Slowly coming back to center. Step your right foot back into high lunge. Lower the back right knee down to the ground and either take your hands to blocks or just to your, the top of your front knee. You can raise your hands up, whatever feels good for you. Energetically scissoring your legs towards one another. The top of your right foot should be pressing into the mat. Lengthen the spine, pull the belly in and up, and then release your hands to the ground or onto blocks. We're going to take winged dragon pose so you can roll your knee out towards the left side of the room. Or just stay at center if that's what you feel like today. Nice hip opener. Bring that leg back to center. Tuck the back foot under, straighten it and bring your left foot to meet it in plank position. We're gonna press up to down dog, press your tailboard bone towards the sky, and slightly walk your feet in until you get that nice down dog position that you like. And once you're there, you have the option to stay here in down dog, breathing in and out of the nose, or come down onto your forearms with your fingers spread wide and take dolphin pose. If you take dolphin, make sure to really press your forearms into the mat so your shoulders are pressing away and your head is lifted off of the mat. Now either one hand at a time or both, you can press back into down dog. Look to the top of the mat and step or lightly jump towards the top. Inhale, reach all the way up, bring the hips forward, bring your spine nice and long, hands overhead. And exhale, bend at the knees, come into chair, either with the feet together or with the blocks between the thighs. Bring your hands to prayer. Distribute your weight, feet squeeze your thighs together, make sure the weight's in the heel. Shoulders are down away from the ears, stomach's tucked in. Nice engaged core here. We're gonna reach the hands up high, bend forward, reaching towards you at the front of the room, and either take easy twist with your left hand out behind you or bring your hands to prayer. Bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, really pressing your hands together here and looking to the back left side of the room. to center. Stepping the left foot back into lunge this time. Drop the left knee down to the ground. Coming into that nice low lunge. Scissor the legs up towards each other. Energetically pulling together. But pressing down into that front leg. 
Find the length in the spine here. Reach up. Nice inhale. Fill your lungs up. And exhale. Fold forward. Bring your hands either to the mat, to the box, or to the top of your knee. You can roll the weight onto the outside of your right leg here. Opening the knee out to the right slightly for a winged dragon. Or just staying in a low lunge. Making sure you're still energetically squeezing your legs towards one another without physically moving your feet. Bring that foot back and knee back to center. Tuck your left toes under, straighten that back leg, press into your hand, shoulder width distance apart, and bring the right foot to meet the left. Press up into downward facing dog. Make sure your hands are nice and wide. Pinky fingers grazing the edge of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, come forward into plank. Inhale, come up to down dog. With that same energetic movement, we're gonna take our right foot up high to the sky. And we're gonna roll forward into a plank, bringing our knee to our nose. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, shoot that leg up high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. You're gonna do 10 of these. Exhale, knee to nose, three. Go at your own pace. Place that foot down, come back to neutral in your down dog. We're going to take the other side, left leg high to the sky. Inhale, fill up your lungs, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg goes high up, exhale, knee to nose. That's two, go at your own pace. back to center in your down dog. Take a few rejuvenating breaths. You can bring your knees down to the mat nice and slow. Take them wide to the edge of the mat. Bring your butt towards your heels and come into child's pose. Forehead to the mat, chest towards the ground. Fingers spread nice and wide. Take a few rejuvenating breaths here. Feel your third eye touch a block or the mat beneath you. 
Envision that nice violet light emanating Slowly walk your hands towards your chest. Press your chest up. Bring your knees back together. Come into all fours. Press your feet up to down dog and slowly walk them in towards your hands. Inhale as you come all the way up into an extended mountain pose. Exhale, breathe it out. We're gonna take tree pose on the right side. So firmly plant your left foot into the mat and take your right palm of your foot onto the inside of your left leg, either where the calf is or where your thigh is, but just not over top of the knee. Really press the two legs together, foot presses into thigh, thigh presses into foot. Really pull the belly up and in, your butt shouldn't be popping out behind you, your hips should kind of be coming towards the front of the room. Open your shoulders down and back. Really have this openness in tree. And just focus on balancing here. Palms open, one rested on your knee. Relaxed, strength and ease. If you fall out, come right back to it. Bring your hands to prayer. Sweep your hands up above, breathe in. And exhale, bring them down to your thighs. Bring your knee forward to the front of the room. Let your foot fall free. Hug your right knee into your chest. From here, you can either hold your um, hold your knee, or if you would desire, grab hold of your big toe with your peace fingers and straighten that leg out in front of you. If the leg doesn't go all the way straight without putting a um, bending your back, then just keep that slight bend in the knee. We want to keep that alignment in our spine, pull your belly up and in, nice and strong abs here. We're going to let go and sweep our foot back into warrior one. So Put one leg distance behind us with a slight 45 degree angle towards the left front side of the room. Uh, even more so, depending on your hip flexibility, and bend into that front knee. Really find the warrior one, I need a lot of adjusting, so don't feel bad if you need to move around a little bit to get comfortable in this pose. You should be pulling energetically your right hip bone into your hip socket here. Elongate, straighten that front leg. Bring your or left hand down towards the inside of your left leg. Either uh, come up on the spidey fingers or my personal favorite in this one, a block and open your arms up into a T. Pull the hips forward towards the right side of your mat. Energetically push your feet into the mat. Nice long line of energy between your two hands. And if it doesn't bother your neck, Everything should be engaged here. We 
Now we're gonna take our right hand down to the mat or to the block where your left hand just was. And we're gonna bring our left hand up, twisting triangle, trikonasana. Come to center, bring your hands on either side of that left foot, step your right foot up to the top of the mat, inhale, come up high, and exhale, release the hands to the side, tree pose, other side, root the right foot down into the mat, bring the left palm of your foot to the inside of your right leg, either on the calf or the thigh, not on your knee. Press firmly your foot into your leg. Create a nice pressure between the two. Energetically pull your hip bones forward to the wall in front of you. Bring your shoulders together along your back as if they're squeezing a pencil. Shoulders down away from the ears and just a nice openness here as you balance. Breathing in and out. Inhale, bring the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down to prayer. Release your knee and your leg. Hug the left knee in. Either stay here, hugging your knee in, focusing on your balance, or you can take the left big toe with your peace fingers on the left hand and straighten that leg out in front of you. Again, keeping a nice bend in the knee if you cannot straighten without hunching forward. See that difference in my back there? Prioritizing a long spine over a straight leg. You might find a strap is really nice here. You wrap it around your foot so you can reach the toe and pull with uh, that long spine without having to hunt forward to reach it. Release the toe, sweep that foot back into warrior one. Remember, take your time getting that nice position. Your feet should be a little bit closer together towards the midline. A slight angle on that back foot, bend in the front knee. Energetically rolling the front thigh out towards the outer side of your mat. If you have the position, straighten that front leg. Bring your right hand down onto the inside of your right leg or onto a block on the inside of your leg. And extend the left hand up towards the sky. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Abs engaged. Shoulders pulling towards one another. Pressing into that bottom hand. Lots of energy in this pose. Taking your left hand down to meet where the right one was. And bringing the right hand up towards the sky, twisting triangle. Abs pulled up and in. Feet energetically 
pressing into the mat. Press the floor away from you with your hand. Release that hand down to the other side of the foot, move your props if you need to, and step the left foot forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, place the hands separately, jump into plank. Lower down, chaturanga, or all the way to the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step or lightly jump to the top of the mat. Bring the outer edges of your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Bend at the knees, coming into Malasana Yogi Squat. Um, and the goal here is to straighten our spine nice and long. I really find that pressing into the hands here and pressing the elbows into the knees really helps me get into this position. If you find you're hunched over like this, you might find it nice to place a block under your tush to help you um, get that length that you need in the spine. Taking your right hand behind you, and gentle twist to the right. And walking across the middle, left hand behind you, gentle twist to the left. Coming down onto your butt, bringing your feet in front of you. We're going to do a Navasana boat pose. So you can either start with your feet on the ground, knees bent, hands behind the knees, nice along the spine, and simply uh, do your boat crunches like this, where you can straighten your feet up um, parallel to the mat, as long as you're keeping that nice long spine, the, um, folding in the back like this, and you can bring your legs straight if you can do it again without rounding the spine, as you can see. Personally, I like to do the middle version, and we're going to do boat crunches. We're going to do 20 of them, so we're going to come all the way down, extend the legs out, and bend the knees, pull up and in. Um, if that's a little bit too much for you, I invite you to simply um, take the backs of your legs, calm down halfway without um, dumping in the back, Whoop. and coming up, just light little pulses. Okay, so starting now, come down, pull up. Down, pull up, that's two, and go at the, the pace of your own breath. Inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you crunch up.
We're going to do 20 Russian twists, so same legs that we just had for boat pose, either with the feet on the mat, legs lifted, or with the uh, straight up V. And we're going to take our hands at prayer and touch to the right side, over to the left side, touch, 20 of them, starting now. Remember if your legs are lifted, your spine is straight and your belly is pulled up and in. And 20. Ah, hug the knees into the chest. We're gonna lower down onto our backs, so from boat pose with your feet on the ground, spine nice and long, hands out in front of you, we're gonna slowly roll down. Nice and slow, pull the tummy up and in. And release. With your tailbone pressed directly into the mat, spine pressed into the mat, shoulders nice and flat on the mat. Bring the heels of your feet up close to your tush. Tips of your fingers should be able to be just slightly near your heels of your feet. And we're going to press our feet into the mat and repress our hips up away from the mat. You can either have your hands pressed down onto the mat below you or bring them together and clasp them underneath your butt, rolling the shoulders underneath your chest. Really energetically squeeze your thighs towards one another. And release, bring your hips down. We're gonna do two more of those. And press up for number two. Taking whichever version you feel comfortable with. Really feel this in your low back and your butt. And release. Don't hug your knees into your chest. Just breathe a few nice deep breaths. And one more time, press up to bridge. Really, this is your last one. Get all you can out of it. Really press your hips up, squeeze your butt cheeks together, press your thighs towards one another. These are moments of discomfort where we change. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe roll slightly back and forth on your low back. I'm gonna rock up to seated, so it can rock a few times until you get there. And come up. We're going to lengthen our legs up in front of us, flex our feet, bring the backs of the knees towards the mat, pull the belly up and in, lengthen the spine, reach up, and fold forward until you get to the point where your knees want to bend. Only go as far down your legs as you can with keeping that nice long spine and no bend in the knees. The toe is not the goal. If you can reach your toes and you feel like if this isn't enough for you and you want to reach further, pull back, pull your shoulders into your hip or into your shoulder sockets. 
engage the spine, engage the feet, nice and flexed toes. Press your feet away from you. Pull your shoulders back towards one another. And find strength in the pose. And release. Fold over. Let everything go. Slowly roll up to seated. Take your legs nice and wide. Uh, kind of scoot your hips forward as far as they'll go. And we're going to do the same thing. That forward fold with a long spine. It's not about how far forward you can get. It's more about how much of your chest you can get towards the floor without bringing that curve in your low back. So just slowly walking your hands out till you find your edge. And then keeping that nice long spine. You can flex your feet nice power in the legs here. Lean over sideways, over to the right side. Resting your hand along your leg and keeping your uh, ribs nice and pinched between two panes of glass. We're not folded forward or leaning back, just in the center. Come up towards the center and go towards the left side this time, keeping that nice alignment of the rib cage between two panes of glass. Come up to center. Grab behind the knees and pull your legs towards one another. You can keep your feet together and drop your knees together from side to side. It's a nice windshield wipers here. We're gonna take legs up the wall. Um, so if you don't have a wall nearby, feel free to just uh, come on on your back and bring your feet up towards the ceiling. Might feel nice to place a block beneath your hips. Hips on a block. But if you have a wall, just bring your, your hips or your butt cheeks up to the bottom of the wall and put your uh, legs up the wall. Relax in here. Big shoulder stand if it's in your practice. Reaching your feet nice and high. Trying to keep that nice vertical direction in the legs. And if it leaks down to plow if it's in your practice. Slowly lower your legs all the way back down to a lying position. Bring your legs down slowly from the wall if you're at 
at the wall. Hug your knees into your chest. Face them down just below your butt cheeks. Scoot your hips to slightly to the right and drop your knees over to the left. You can bring the arms out to a T if you'd like. Find the inner twist. Bring the knees back to center. Shift the hips slightly over to the left this time. And drop your knees down to the right. You can place a block or a pillow beneath your knees if they're hovering off of the floor. Gently bringing our legs back to center, hips back to center, and let your legs come out straight below you and fall out wide to the side. Arms out to the side, allowing the palms to fall open towards the ceiling. Final rest position, Shavasana. Let everything go. Disengage all of your muscles. Breathe into this position. Envision that light emanating from the third eye, Chandra Chakra, in the center of your forehead. Wiggle the fingers and toes. Come back into your body. Make a nice stretch overhead if it feels nice for you. 
And roll over to your right. And slowly press up to a seated position. Come to a nice comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to prayer. The light in me honors the light in you and thank you for being here with me today on my mat. Namaste, yogis. If you like this video, please like it. Please share it for, with anyone you think would gain value from this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already be updated with new content. There is the crown chakra video coming out and as I said, below are listed the previous chakra videos. Um, on this channel, we do yoga videos, spiritual um, discussions, and tarot card readings. So if that's of interest to you, definitely subscribe. Peace, much love, and namaste. Bye, guys.